how much value is there in a mid-sized case under 60 USD? Let's find out. What's happening YouTube and the internet? Terrence here and we are back, back inside the lab and taking a look at the Montec X1, which is a mid-size ATX case with premium features at a flexible and affordable price point that could be had for about 56 USD over on Amazon. Links down in the description box below. It comes with a fully transparent tempered glass side panel to show off your wonderful and glorious build internals, a unique front mesh panel, and a ventilated top panel for optimized thermals and high airflow to help keep your components running nice and cool, something we will check for once we're done building inside the case. The X1 also comes with four pre-installed 120 millimeter static RGB fans, which come with a bit of a downside because they aren't controllable as they're powered with a four pin Molux cable, but the top of the case supports up to two 120 millimeter fans, so you could add some down the road for even better airflow. Down at the bottom, it has two SSD drive bays, should you want to show off your SSDs in a rear drive bay down in the basement for discrete additional storage and plenty of room for cable management for wiring up our components, which we're going with a non-modular power supply unit, an Intel Z270 ATX motherboard with an i5-7500 installed, which is cool with the Intel stock chiller and just had a fresh coat of thermal paste applied, 8 gigabytes of DDR4 and dual channel configuration, a single 500 gigabyte Western Digital SSD, and an NVIDIA GTX 1650 Super, which the X1 has support for up to a 305 millimeter video card, or that's just enough or long enough for a Founders Edition RTX 3080. But the components aren't necessarily what's important here, but we are going all air with this system to test the Montec X1's thermal capabilities. Now with all of our parts laid out and cleaned out, let's get them installed and see if the Montec X1 has what it takes to be the centerpiece for your next build.
thermals look good, the 420 millimeter rainbow RGB spinners made everything else look better, and its ease of function makes the Montec X1 one of the best budget options at this price point. Cable management and installation went as it should or as expected with plenty of space to tidy up the cables back here in the rear. I had to free float the SSD as the SATA cable was too thick to mount it to the front tray. The manual that came with the case is as plain Jane as they come with like no guidance or instruction beyond pictures, but most importantly, no identification of the hardware that came included. But once everything was installed, we checked temps, which were surprisingly good on both the CPU and GPU during a 30 minute Heaven Valley loop, which topped that at around the mid 60s, which means the four pre-installed fans not only look bright, cool, and colorful in the dark, but they also moved enough airflow to keep our hardware running nice and cool. So who is the Montec X1 targeted for? Like, should you buy it? And is it worth its weight in metal and glass? Because its most attractive feature which is its price point at $56 is enticing, especially if you're building a mid-grade system that checks off the three prime features of a quality case, even a budget one, right? And that's optimized airflow, quality build material, and a balance between cost, style, and substance. The Montec X1 is a great affordable starter case that meets the criteria for a value-oriented tower that could be worthy enough for your next build. And for a complete detailed look in the entire process or what it takes to build a gaming PC, watch this video, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Be easy.